In July 2015, more than a half of the NWC's total water production in the Kingston and St. Andrew metropolitan area earned no revenue for the utility. But things are about to change. Faced with increased costs from leaks and reduced revenues from faulty meters and illegal connections, the NWC entered into a co-management partnership with MIA, an international leader in integrated water solutions. Fully funded by a loan from the Inter-American Development Bank, the agreement includes a critical component of performance-based fees that keeps everyone focused. The primary goal of this partnership? A sustainable operational and non-revenue water management capability for customers. This holistic approach covers the entire KSA area and brings important inflows into the economy, with additional trained employees at the NWC and the use of Jamaican suppliers. With NWC's old infrastructure in many sections of the network, leaks are inevitable. That's why when actual work started at the end of 2016, accurate leak detection and prompt repairs were given priority. They still are. Now an additional focus is in dividing the KSA into sectors, DMAs or zones for efficient management of the pressure in small areas. This is a key aspect in eliminating water losses with replacement of faulty valves, use of metering, logging and advanced technology for better overall water management. The results? 60% reduction of leaks in these pressure control areas. Every day, everywhere within the KSA, from Sunday to Sunday and often at nights, a total of 22 crews are on the ground, each consisting on average of five persons. They work shoulder to shoulder, detecting underground leaks, making repairs with stronger, safer and corrosion-resistant materials, and building manageable sectors. Rapid response to public reports of leaks is also factored in the operating procedures. Repairs started just a few months ago, and in October 2017 alone, some 450 leaks were repaired. Over the last two years, the co-management activities have resulted in higher water pressure and more hours of supply without the usual increase in leaks. In fact, some 3,000 have been repaired. This has meant a higher level of service for the NWC and a stable water system. Data from the advanced technology is continuously fed throughout the network and collected in real time through a state-of-the-art SCADA system, while pressure and flow data within the distribution system is collected using telemetry data loggers over the cellular network. In addition, with better materials, proper pipe bedding, and superior techniques of compaction and road reinstatement, rework has almost been completely eliminated. Faulty meters and illegal access to the system are two priority aspects of revenue collection that are now being addressed by the co-management team. With the installation of new and more accurate meters, customers will most likely see a rise in their bills. This must be proactively handled by the NWC to ensure that the public understands that this is not a rate increase, but a more accurate reflection of their usages and is in their interests. But regularizing customers who access NWC water without paying is the more challenging aspect. This has been factored into the project implementation and will be covered by the co-management team. Customized social interventions are also being developed for prescribed socially challenged areas where access is either denied or difficult for infrastructural work, meter installation, disconnections and collections. NWC has recently replaced 
48,500 meters within KSA with accurate electronic meters and is currently purchasing a further 450,000 meters, some of which will be installed within the KSA soon. So with improvements in metering and billing, a 5% increase in revenue already achieved and more improvement is expected. The innovative co-management nature of the partnership is proving to be a real win for the NWC with capacity building, new operational standards and of course greater outputs and better outcomes. For example, a partnership with Heart Trust NTA ensured that crews who are trained by NIA will receive professional certification under the project. 135 from NWC and 35 from MIA, that's 170 direct staff in various aspects of detection, installation and network management. But more than 350 NWC staff were trained under the project. Even better, once the term of the partnership is over, the expertise stays right here to sustain high levels of water efficiency. Standard operating procedures have been developed for use and are in place, with more in the pipeline. Yes, there have been testing times, old and complex networks, buried and throttled valves, gaps in the geographic information system data, and necessary above-ground road work, which often disrupts water supply and traffic flow, while causing noise and dust nuisance. These are unavoidable, but the partnership always works hard to keep them to a minimum. Even so, out of the challenges, success. The discovery of buried valves has resulted in huge energy savings for the NWC, and there is steady improvement in the quality of the network information through consistent data collection on every repair job. Despite the hurdles, both parties have hit their stride in living up to the promise of the partnership with the expectation that commitment, cooperation, hard work and problem solving would bring results. And they have. This process is a marathon rather than a sprint and with a clear objective of creating an efficient water system for KSA for many years. We look forward to the continued success of the partnership which means so much for water management and sustainability in Jamaica at a time when climate change necessitates that we all work hard to make every drop count.